Sun's about to come up. I think it's going to be a really beautiful day. <laughs> a little windy, but beautiful. <laughs> By the way, this is exactly what it's like on the hook. 20 knot winds. It's not horrible. It's not perfect either. So anyway, that's why my time lapses always go. right there and then through this window look there's our boat isn't that so pretty wow it's a good thing you didn't wear that dress Look a day over 149. <laughs> it's like every two hours, I think, they come up here and crank it to keep the light going. So they must put that yeah. handle Wind up on here that thing. and then crank away. Wow. Doesn't that feel a little bit like Alice in Wonderland? The lighthouse lady said there's a big metal door we can go out. And it's very hard to open. And it's only like 25 knots of wind out there. Okay. It looks sort of safe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that is a heavy door. Welcome. Look at that view. Wow, yeah. Man. Look at all those different colors. Water here just does not get old. Probably a bad idea, but it's too pretty not to try. <laughs> that didn't look sketchy at all. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, 
What'd you lose? <laughs> the wind just ripped the sunglasses right off of my head. And that is why I don't buy expensive sunglasses. Oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> it's just a little bit windy. Okay. Let's go to town. Back to the Alice Wonderland door. It seems like a finger pressure. Not afraid of heights. Here we go. <laughs> this is too <tutorial>. narrow. <laughs> Sorry to film. Oh, yes, there they are. Oh, only a few good scratches. <laughs> like battle scars make for a good story. Ooh, they kind of think a little. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> a little bit of a fall. Can't even tell. No. Oh. Our dinghy survived. Yeah, I can't tell if I hear church bells. Maybe it's lunch bells. Lunch bells. <laughs> Definitely sounds like bells. about that water. It's incredible. It's so blue. So blue. Where are you taking us? We're trying to go to this restaurant called Firefly, so I put in walking directions in the Google. Whew. Hope it's not this way the rest of the way. <laughs> this road's pretty gnarly. Okay. Now I feel like we're on an island. It's beautiful. Close. Hey, we're real close. Okay, good. Alright. Tarmac. Whew. Let's check out Nikki. I actually need a mountain bike. Back on the main road. I think we'll stick to this road on the way back. What do you think? Probably a good idea, but that was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, Firefly, there's our restaurant. Turn right. I feel like I've earned my keep. Yeah. <sighs> Apparently it's a resort. Oops. It's gonna probably be real expensive. That, we didn't know we were doing that today. Arnold Palmer seemed appropriate. Spiked Arnold Palmer. 
Why is his name so hard to say? I don't know what it is. Arnold. Arnold Palmer. I haven't even had a drink yet. We had two sips. <laughs> and gone. <laughs> okay, we got here and we said, this is so beautiful, why are we not here? It looks so much more calm. Well, here is where we're anchored. This is the lighthouse. That's our boat. And just a little further south, here's the Firefly restaurant. And there's a little anchor symbol, so it's not an active captain. But we looked out here and we thought, man, it's so beautiful. And there's a catamaran right there. We wanted to be in front of the lighthouse. It's such a lovely view. I like where we are. <laughs> Look at that bun. I know. Dang. Look at that. Mm, yummy. Well, it is literally owned by Firefly Vodka. So we thought we were going somewhere local. Turns out it's kind of corporate. The food was good. It's nice. You had a great view. So no real complaints there. Other than the fact that the french fries were from Frozen and on the menu it says homemade french fries. So that was kind of a bummer. Just twice now I've been told homemade french I know, fries. I and then you get frozen french fries. Ah. I know. We're french fries now. <laughs> but, uh, it was 50 bucks for one cocktail we split and then two entrees or lunch items, plates, whatever. Anyhow, so... Let's go work it off. Yeah. Yeah. Now we won't be eating out again. No. <laughs> oh, that guy's on the wrong side of the road. Oh. Freak me out for a second. Let me know if a car's coming. <laughs> How do you feel about this road? Oh, this is much better. It's all lovely though. I mean, really. Very cute little town. Cute key. That lovely little lizard home that matches the people home. <laughs> I've seen lizards enjoying it though. No, they're crazy. Look at that lovely little lizard resort. <laughs> its own little lighthouse and everything. Uh -huh. Man. Golf cart. Should be firing that cannon. Yeah. Okay. I just saw these and it reminded me a lot of people that lived here or live here that came down to colonize this area in the 1700s, I believe, were British sympathizers from. North Carolina, and you see this sort of thing, the pineapple, the sign of hospitality, and a lot of the Carolinas kind of woven into the fence, and I just, just reminded me. So that's really something cool. We spent all day on Wikipedia this morning, just <laughs> researching everything as much as we could. It's, it's really fascinating. Opening just big enough for our little dink, like old pros. <laughs> no. All right, we're good. Oh, there's another school ferry. So a lot of the kids, I think, go once they're older, go to school at Marsh Harbor, so they take the ferry every day. Can you imagine growing up? taking a ferry instead of a school bus. Man's got a job to do. He's like, get out the way. Get that damn dinghy out of my way. I don't even care if no wake zone. Oop. Probably just scooch to the side and yeah, get out of the way. Yeah, it's super shallow right there and I'll get off out of his way in a second. 
He wasn't mad. Nah. He always waved when he's behind our sailboat too. And I saw him from the I saw him from the lighthouse. Not this boat specifically, but the ferries. This is a no wake zone and they were just Wah! flying in all the way to the dock. So I guess that's what people said when they said the anchorage right here is is just so much wake. Because of the ferries. Dreamy, magical looking sky. I think it's lovely. Alright, we thought we were going to just end the episode and they weren't that we weren't gonna film today because it's work day and we just came into town for internet, but this coffee shop has surprised me and so I thought I should share it with you. So I think the only little coffee shop here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> They actually roast all their coffee in-house, so it's fresh, and it tastes very good. Very impressed with the roasted coffee. They've got fresh muffins, they make quiches, the Wi-Fi is fast. The first, like, remotely fast Wi-Fi we have found. So, anyway, excellent stop. But they're only open from, like, 8.30 to noon, so you gotta come early. Well, I have to say that I'm a little sad to leave this little town. It's very cute. It's kind of resorty, but not in a bad way. It kind of reminds me of like a little ski village or something, but of course on the water. They have, I guess, like architectural or design guidelines in place so that everything kind of has a similar feel. Everything's nicely landscaped. You've got the cute little cafe and little restaurants and shops. So you can see why people like it here so much and it's mentioned so often. But next, next to the lobby.